What is up guys, John from Magic Tech Review, we're going to be taking another look at the ZTE Blade Spark sent to me from ZTE, so this is going to be more of a full review of different things that come with the phone, different things you can do with the phone, so, um, but before I do that, I want to do a comparison of the other two uh, ZTE products that I pretty much use on a daily basis, so, there's the ZTE Spark in the middle, let's go ahead and take a look at got the ZTE Z Max, the original one, running on KitKat, and this is a 5.5 inch display screen, guys. Um, I just want to show you guys how this 5.5 inch display on the ZTE Blade Spark is really a nice ratio, body to screen ratio, and this one is a 6 inch phone, so uh, they really they really did a good job as uh, making the bezels and, you know, the chin and top part of the phone kind of smaller and still keeping a pretty big screen on there so here's your 5.5 inch display on the ZT Blade Spark 6 inch display here 5.7 inch display here and just to show you guys how much of a ZT fan I really am <laughs> I love these phones but yeah the this one ZTE Z Max been using this for a long time now uh, it's still running on KitKat it's about two years now that I've been using this phone actually um, pretty consistently. This one's unlocked. Let's take that out of the picture. And then your DTE Grand X Max 2 right there. So you can see kind of where the uh, closeness comes from uh, these two phones ZTE Grand X Max 2. Then came the ZTE Grand X 4 which kind of had this design right here, and then now we have the ZT Blade Spark. So, uh, ZT Grand X4 from Cricut Wireless is definitely a great phone. I sold so many of those. A lot of people enjoyed them. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at, keep taking kind of a look at the, you know, kind of the, the uh, similarities between the two phones. So, we do have the power and volume rocker on the left there. I do like that this one has that ridged power button, this one doesn't really have the ridged power button there. So then we have the volume rocker right there, then we have the Type-C cable port right down there, and it does come with a, a quick charge, so definitely have a quick charge on that, and then you have your microphone port right there, <clears throat> then you have your Sim, uh, sim, t sim tray, sorry, sim tray, and it does double as a micro USB, I mean, micro SD card slot as well. Uh, I did test it. You can actually use this phone with consumer cellular and Cricut Wireless right out of the box. So if you don't want to use uh, AT&T prepaid service per se, it comes, you know, already ready to use with other AT&T services. So good on them for doing that. Really nice. You have that textured back as I was uh, talking about in the other video. I love this textured back. I don't know why. It just feels like... I know it's not leather or anything, guys, but it feels kind of like it if you can, you know, kind of put a feel to it. But yeah, this texturized back is just, like, really dope. Of course, you got your fingerprint sensor there, which, admittedly, you know, this phone right here doesn't have the fingerprint sensor. Going to a fingerprint sensor, yeah. When you have the fingerprint sensor, it does make a lot of sense to use it, so I do use it. Uh, a lot when it actually has the fingerprint sensor on there, but so yeah, so basically, boom, really just the fingerprint sensor does go really fast, actually. So let me um, let me throw on my Wi-Fi here, throw on the good old Wi-Fi. So let's take a test on that real quick to see how fast that actually gets. So from off. Boom, it's like super duper fast. So off and then we press it, boom, comes right on. And as you can see, you got your notifications and I am getting a whole bunch of notifications. Wow, let me turn this brightness down a little bit because this thing is quite bright. And as you can see there, no problem getting notifications on this phone, let me tell you. But you got your usual standard fare here. I'm trying to get rid of all these notifications. There we go, clear all. Boom. Be gone notifications. Alrighty. Now that we're done with that. 
So as you can see, pretty quick UI, goes right into a loop there. Let's see if you got your themes there, you got your sports themes, let's go ahead and check that out. And that goes pretty quickly, actually the themes. So let's go back to the traditional themes, I'm more of a traditional kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's go ahead and go into settings real quick, or actually let's uh, let's listen to a YouTube video. How about that? <clears throat> See the sound quality on this thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sound quality. We're gonna go. Uh, hmm, what are we gonna do? Uh, Alan Fade Walker. Actually, no, we're going to go F0. I like doing F0. Might as well. Let's see, make sure the volume is pumped up. So I'm more of a uh, let's see, title screen silence. Silence is a good one. The rotation is good. So definitely want to check that. focus now. Thanks camera. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. So we have you really your standard fair guys. It does it does come with a lot of AT&T stuff that's preloaded on there. Uh, AKA bloatware, but a lot of it as you can see you can take off. I literally have taken off all the pretty much all the bloatware that comes up with it you can actually disable pretty much most of it uh, that comes with it you got this uh, Final Fantasy 15 you know there's a lot of things that you can just go ahead and disable or you can actually get rid of just about everything in here so uh, that's really good so I've actually personalized it to myself and used it all for myself let's go ahead and go into the Dolby audio section here because I know a lot of you guys are actually worried about you know It is a nice and loud phone. You can customize it to your liking, so no worries on that. Let's see. Let's see. And you can actually bring it up. So, if you'd like, you can make your phone even louder than it already comes with, you know. So, if we go back to that YouTube, let's see here. Wow, it's even louder. See how that's... See how that... I can play YouTube like that in the background because I actually have YouTube Red. So there you go on that. Let's take a quick look at some settings here and then we'll go ahead and conclude the video. And yeah, please leave a like on the video, of course, as always. And okay. Got your display. 
got your adaptive brightness, got your brightness level. So a lot of the standard fare here, guys, uh, font size, so you can you know make the font a little bit bigger there. So display the size. So a lot of your stuff, guys, that if you've ever owned a ZTE, you'll be very, very familiar with. It's not that much different. So I'm not going to bore you guys with a whole bunch of these little settings in here. But here's the My Pop. You, know, you can have that. Call settings, connect to PC. Okay. Yeah, yada, 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 yada. Just a lot of stuff, guys, that, you know, it would take, you know, 20, 30 minutes talking about the same old, same old that you guys probably already know about before. So any questions you have, go ahead and leave those in the comments.